Thank you for tuning in. I, I see you guys are all adding in there. This is a test right now. We're getting our bearings together. Hey, did you check out this sponsor right here? They're gonna be helping out this time. How about this sponsor? Huh? And always check out MessinaChamber.com. It's just a test. We'll be with you in a short moment. Any second now. It's coming, I swear. How's that weather today, huh? Nothing yet? Just a test. That's, we're just getting everything going. This is a vibe right now. I literally am standing in front of a camera doing this. You know. Oh, are we about to start? Not yet. Oh, okay. Almost there. Did I, did I, did I do the sponsor? I did the sponsor, didn't I? Here's the sponsor. Wish this would start. <laughs> But how can people do the sponsor? Huh? Tell, tell them how they can become a sponsor. How they can become a sponsor? Yeah, tell them how. You want me to tell them how they? Oh, they can they can become a sponsor. Of this? They can sponsor these. They can sponsor these? Yeah. And I'm gonna act like I don't know that right now. <laughs> this is a great idea. Okay, so did you know you can become a sponsor of these live feeds? That's right. Just check out info at masinachamber.com. Send us an email if you're interested. We'll send you some information. Thank you for tuning in. I, I see you guys are all adding in there. This is a test right now. We're getting our bearings together. Hey, did you check out this sponsor right here? They're gonna be helping out this time. How about this sponsor? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America 
Silence your electronic devices. That would be appreciated. Uh, Trustee the chaise. <laughs> I call the village of Messina Board of Trustees meeting for March 21st, 2017 to order. Roll call. Mr. Offel, he is excused for work. Mr. Carver. Yeah. Mr. Deshaies. Here. Mr. Lebeer. Here. I am here. Approval of meeting minutes, December 6, 2016, December 20. 2016, January 5th, 2017. Someone. Mr. Beer, second by Mr. Vichet's discussion. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Reports of officers and committees. Treasurer's report, Ms. Sharp. We've been provided with the balance sheet and revenue expense and budget report for the month of February. A summary of the five major funds appears on your report. Year end projections for the above funds were updated through February 28th. Projections for have been distributed to the mayor and the trustees, as well as department managers. The office staff has completed setup training for the new Encode 10 financial software and currently in the process of completing the core financials chart of account segmentation. Craig Anderson of Tyler Technology will be on site starting April 3rd to begin configuration <coughs> and setup of the software. Then throughout the month of May, we will be going through process training for the software. Payment on the community center fund was processed in the last warrant. The total amount of the payment was $66,606.25. This was made up of $40,000 in principal and $26,606.25 in selling annual interest. The next interest payment is due in September, and the outstanding balance on this bond is $1,250,000. <coughs> We've received notice of our next serial bond payment of $205,000 due to the New York State Environmental Facilities Corporation on April 21st. This bond was issued for the CSO, CSO project and this a no interest bond, therefore the entire amount goes towards principal. The outstanding balance after our April payment will be paid for $20,000. The assessment amount for 2017 as supplied by the country, the county Bureau property tax office is $355,813,839. This is a decrease from last year's assessment of $1,335,214. Two action items on this evening's report. About a week and a half ago, I provided you with the auditor's independent report on the Village Justice Court records. A motion is needed to accept the report. So moved. Motion by Mr. Lebeer, second by Mr. Deshaies. Discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And Motion. lastly, um, further down on the agenda, item 60, the, uh, the item to establish a public hearing to override the 2% tax level. Questions for Ms. Shirley? That's the smallest reduction in assessment we've seen in a while. Many reports. Code enforcement, Mr. Carl, Mr. LeBeer. Economic development, Mr. Oppo, Mr. LeBeer. EDC meeting this week. That's about that. Fire committee, Mr. Carl, Mr. LeBeer. Uh, there's an item later on the agenda. Okay. Personnel committee, Mr. Carl, Mr. Deshaies. Trustee uh, Deshaies and myself sat in on. Uh, and it was a week or two ago for a, a new fire department employee, and it's uh, later on in the uh, agenda. So. Police committee, Mr. Carvel, Mr. Deshaies. Uh, nothing to report at this time. Recreation commission, Mr. Deshaies. And their old business, the grime system, 
has been hit. It's down, had trouble with it, so they had to use a backup pump in the arena. They had to remove the air from the primary pump. The speaker system has been some improvement that could be made to the system, but the improvement at this point is very noticeable. It has to be made. Figure skating ice show, the Alice on Ice was held on January 29th. Usually well attended. Well show, good show. Rock and skate, it will, we will host two final rock and skate on Friday, March 17th, and March the 24th, 7 to 9 p.m. both days. $5 admission, $5 for rentals for the rock and skate. Peewee sectional, hockey, the Northern Zone Tier 2 sectional was hosted in the Senior Arena on March 3rd and 5th. 16 participated in the tournament that started Friday morning at 8 o'clock and ended on Sunday at 5 p.m. The teams were Messina, Watertown, Flashburg, Schenectady, Bethlehem, and Adirondack. The two teams will move on to the states to be held in Buffalo, Messina, and Schenectady. The Northeast Shootout, which is a brew ball tournament, was March 10th and 12th with the Messina Arena. 11 teams that participated. Then they used the rest of the month to march for the recreation and house league, and that was set off by the charge of River. Two divisions, under eight, under 11, cost per eight, session was $40 per person. Then they had each group, so they had, well, it turned out they had turned some kids away. There were so many people, kids interested. Uh, bigger skating invitation was held on March 18th and 19th. Bigger skating testing will be held on March 25th from 8 to 6 a.m. on Saturday. The boom ball turn, boom ball season will be March 31st, April 2nd. It will be all the way out on Friday from 10 to from 5 to 10 on Saturday from 11 to 7, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, new display on the lobby, if you get in the lobby of the casino arena, you see a display that was set up by the um, Ike Pagoda about his son Zach. And it's, they're going to move it in a better spot later on. And the ice is going out of the ice April 2nd. That's my report. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for me. The street Committee, Mr. Hoffel, Mr. LeBear. <coughs> keep saying Mr. Hoffel, he's not here. Let's just have he's a word. This is Water and Sewer Committee, Mr. LeBear. Initial public comment period. As always, we ask you to stand and please state your name for the record. Initial public comment. Mr. Gray. Sean Gray, 5063. I see later on the agenda you're approving the spring cleanup dates. Every year, I, when all the stuff is put out, you see a lot of furniture. Sofas. Can you speak up a little bit, please? Oh, sure. Thanks. You see, each year you see a lot of sofas and chairs and mattresses, and they sit out for a week, and the rain that gets, for, it's the rainy season, April. And they just get rain. I can just imagine how much that ups the tonnage. And I'm just wondering if we could think of some way to try and do that better, so that the stuff is dry when it goes to the landfill. And I, I don't, I don't have an answer, but I just maybe we should think about it. Because I would think if some, if a mattress gets rained on for a week, it's probably going to be twice as heavy as it would be normally for a sofa or a chair. <coughs> just a thought. Thank you. Further public comment. Seeing that, moving to old business. Discussion, establish a public hearing date for revisions to chapter 270, taxi cabs of the general code. So at our last meeting, we discussed two revisions to the previous format, which were to extend the age of the vehicles from 10 to 12 years, and to include the drug testing, uh, the cost covered by the employer. Uh, any other changes that we're looking to? Discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, Opposed? Carries. New business discussion, New York State budget. Um, if you've been following it, the Assembly and the Senate have 
released their, uh, I guess they call it the thin budget, which is where the negotiations will start. So I thought I'd just highlight on a couple of them. The AIM funding, which is the aid and incentives for municipality, which we get. Uh, the governor has not included any additional funds for that. Uh, he's also, uh, the appropriation is contingent upon the legislature passing his proposed countywide shared service property tax service plan. I don't know how it's going to shake out. That means less money or how they're going to do that. The assembly has uh, proposed 50, 000, 50 million in additional to aim funding. That'd be really good. Uh, they, however, have tied some formula, which I haven't seen yet to that, uh, that ties how well you've done from 2012 to 17 with the cumulative property tax cap rate. I haven't seen the particulars of that, so interested to look at that. So we'll see how that shakes out. As you know, the governor has proposed this countywide shared service property tax savings plan that would be essentially uh, prepared by the county uh, administrator. Um, NICOM is vehemently opposed to that. We're pretty pro consolidation here. Most of our services are done that, so um, I'm not sure it affects us a great deal, but uh, the only I have on that is I'm not convinced the county is the proper uh, authority to be looking at how municipalities should consolidate. But and that's not a slam to the county. I mean, it's just uh, municipalities know municipalities better. So, um, so that's kind of where that stands. That both the Senate and the Assembly are uh, uh, rejecting that proposal. Uh, the transportation age, which of course is uh, chips funding, Cape New York, Bridge New York, all the the infrastructure, road and bridge type money. Uh, the governor is uh, has this flatlined again at 438 million. Uh, he's continued the other programs, the pave and the bridge, same numbers. Uh, the assembly is looking to increase the funding by 50 million uh, for chips, and the pave New York and uh, bridge uh, continuing at the same. The Senate's proposing 75 million and adding 50 million to the bridge uh, and, and pave. So again, that will be through the negotiation. So. Um, those are really the biggest things. Um, the one other thing, we allow installments of our property taxes, so the, uh, the governor is proposing a, uh, municipalities can opt out of it, but allowing uh, payments to be made on taxes. We already do that, it doesn't affect us. Uh, those are really only the ones that really that caught my, my attention that I thought I'd share with you. For the assembly, um, Putting out there the requesting additional 50 million in aim. Have they released details on if that would be allocated the same way that current aim is? Good question. I don't know. Because there's currently quite a disproportionate. I mean, you look at the per capita of what Messina and other municipalities upstate receive versus per capita in some areas downstate. And aim is heavily flawed in that area. So I'd be curious to see what the extra 50 million. Goes to, and if it actually us. Right. I mean, now that we've seen them, I, I, you know, I will start reaching out to our leadership and see where they stand on these issues, and, and give them, you know, my opinions at least. Next up, establish a public hearing for the budget, which will be April fourth, two thousand and seventeen, at five thirty p.m. That's where I release the details of the mayor's proposed budget. So moved. Thank you. Motion by Mr. Levere, second by Mr. Carvel. Discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Established budget work session dates and times. These are all at 5.15 p.m. 5.15 p.m. So April 6th, that's a Thursday. April 10th is a Monday. April 11th is a Tuesday. April 12th is a Wednesday. April 25th is a Tuesday, if necessary. All at 5.15 Entertain, entertain a motion. So moved. Mr. Carvel, second by Mr. Shays. Discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Establish a public hearing to consider authorization of a property tax levy in excess of 2% limit April 4, 2017 at 5.40 p.m. Uh, as you know, this is we have to establish this as a public hearing. We'll leave that public hearing open. We'll go through our budget process in the event that we don't fall beyond below them. Then we're okay. So, so the goal is to fall below. Absolutely. Second. Mr. Levere, second by Mr. Carver. Discussion? Yeah, just to reiterate, 
because I was often confused by this when I sat on the other side, is this is just a formality should the need occur for us to go over. This is not us saying we are going over at the time. Yeah, 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 the right, exactly. For, for, for informational purposes, the way the formula works out uh, that the treasurer has, uh, has calculated, uh, our tax, it's not a 2%, actual 2% cap. It's, for us, it's 1.3 this year. Um, so NICOM and, and, and the New York, New York Conference of Mayors are pushing New York State, lobbying them to make this an actual 2% tax cap, the same way that the state goes by for theirs. Um, so what we're, we've asked is, um, Provide exclusion from the cap for municipal expenditures on public infrastructure. Um, so if, if you have capital projects that could come out of it, uh, and also to have it not tied to inflation also. So just those two things would make it a much more real tax cap. So if you're going to call it a 2% tax cap, that's what it should be. Um, so further discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Proposed resolution approve agreement by and between the Village of Messina and office personnel. So moved. Mr. Levere. Second. Second by Mr. Carpel. Discussion? Resolution, whole individually. Mr. Carpel. I'd like to pull my uh, second to that motion. I'd like to pull my second to that motion. We're going to back up. He's going to pull a second. One second. Sorry, oh, sorry. One second by Mr. Rochez. Discussion? Resolution poll individually. Mr. Carvel. Abstain. Mr. Rochez. Aye. Mr. LeBeer. Aye. I vote yes. We have an appointment. Chris Bertrand, contingent permanent firefighter driver. Oh. And fire. Um, we held interviews a couple weeks ago. Uh, myself and assistant foreman Kelso along with the uh, hiring committee uh, we held three interviews and some good candidates and at this time we feel that uh, mr. Bertrand would be the best fit for our department and our community his position is contingent on the results of the civil service test which was given on Saturday they called civil service today they're gonna say that it's gonna be three months before we get the results of that and the position that he would be going for is the floater position, which is designed to reduce as much overtime as possible. Anybody have any questions about that? Is the gentleman here tonight? Yes, he is. Mr. Bertrand is. I thought so. Yes. So, second. Mr. Bertrand, second by Mr. Carl. Discussion? All those in favor, sit by by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Congratulations. Welcome. Now spring cleanup dates established by the superintendent April 24th to May 5th. Again, we ask people not to put their items out until the weekend before. There'll be much more information coming out in the media, what's acceptable, what's not. So but that's very important. Items don't go out too early. Mayor. Yes. If I may, uh, sure. just, uh, we have an, uh, a modification, a slight modification, which will help this program as well. And that is textiles, any, any shoes or purses or clothing, drapery, whatever. That needs to be separated as well because that goes into a different stream. It doesn't go into the refuse anymore. So um, that will help out the program as well, sure. financially. We have three change orders. We're, we'll have to take these individually. I'm sorry, any other comments? Um, three change orders. We'll take these individually. This, this is regarding the sanitary sewer system improvement. Authorized CWS RF capital project change order number 2-1, general construction, wastewater treatment plan. So, Mr. Levere. We have a motion, we have a second. This, yes, I have a second. Second by Mr. Carvel. Discussion? <coughs> All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Second one, authorized CWSRF capital project change order 3-1, sanitary sewer system improvements, contract number 3, SNL Electric. No vote. Mr. Shades. Second. Second by Mr. Carvel. Discussion? 
All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Third, authorize CWSRF Capital Project Change Order 1-2, Sanitary Sewer System Improvements, Contract Number 1, North Country Contractors. So, Mr. LeBeer. Right here. Second by Mr. Shades. Discussion. Yeah. Is that the same thing just for time extension? I don't have that one on my Yeah, that's the time extension one, yes. Okay. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Voucher warrants. I move that the voucher signed by Trustee Carvel and myself be approved. Thank you. Second by Mr. Carvel. Discussion. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Monthly reports. There were no communication correspondence. You're probably notified by the clerk that the Fleet Street policy was received, so that's officially law. Uh, we're working on filling the appointments for the uh, committee. Congratulations, you're on it. It's a lifetime appointment, by the way. <laughs> All the bad <laughs> years. So we'll get that out to you. Uh, and also today, the uh, first vessel, the CSC, uh, CSL Saint Laurent came through the Eisenhower Lock, so the seaway is open. That's all I have for communications, trustees. It's going down below zero tonight. The St. Mark's a freeze over. <laughs> Break ice again. Closing public comment. <laughs> Questions from media. I just got one quick question. Um, Boss, when you talk about textiles for the spring cleanup, when you said they need to be separated, does that mean you're not taking them at all, or people need to separate them out if they put them out? No, we will take them. Okay, they just, just want them in a separate pile. Okay. okay. Thank and, you. and I would add, if they're anything that's usable, I, I would recommend individuals reach out to the local charities to see if there's anything that they could reuse. That's all I've got. Thank you. Thank you. No other public comment? I entertain a motion to adjourn. Mr. Discussion. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Good evening, everyone. You too.